Imagine you are walking in the jungle and suddenly you see a huge tiger staring at you. What would you do? Would you run away, fight back, or try to scare it off? Well, different animals have different ways of dealing with threats, and some of them are quite surprising. In this video, we will explore some of the amazing strategies that animals use to protect themselves from predators, rivals, and other dangers. Hello, and welcome to Safari Saga, the channel where we explore the fascinating world of wildlife. Today we are going to learn about how animals defend themselves against threat. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new uploads. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. Now let's get started. Camouflage. One of the most common and effective ways of avoiding danger is to blend in with the surroundings. This is called camouflage and many animals use it to hide from predators or to sneak up on prey. For example, the chameleon can change its color and pattern to match the background, making it almost invisible. The leaf-tailed gecko has a flat body and a tail that looks like a leaf, allowing it to hide among the foliage. The polar bear has white fur that helps it blend in with the snow and ice, while the zebra has black and white stripes that create a confusing pattern when it moves in a herd. Mimicry. Another way of deceiving enemies is to mimic something else that is either harmless or dangerous. This is called mimicry, and it can be used to avoid being eaten or to scare away intruders. For example, the harmless milk snake has red, black, and white bands that resemble the venomous coral snake, making predators think twice before attacking it. The hawk moth caterpillar has a fake eye spot on its head that looks like the eye of a snake making birds and lizards flee in fear. The orchid mantis has pink and white petals that make it look like a flower, attracting unsuspecting insects that become its meal. Armor. Some animals have physical features that make them hard to bite, pierce, or crush. This is called armor, and it can be used to deter or resist attacks. For example, the armadillo has a shell made of bony plates that covers its body, protecting it from claws and teeth. The porcupine has sharp quills that stick out when it feels threatened, injuring anyone who tries to touch it. The turtle has a hard shell that covers its soft body, allowing it to retract its head and limbs when in danger. Venom. Some animals have chemicals that can cause pain, paralysis, or death to their enemies. This is called venom and it can be used to kill, incapacitate, or warn off attackers. For example, the cobra has fangs that inject venom into its prey or predator, causing severe damage to the nervous system. The scorpion has a stinger at the end of its tail that delivers venom into its victim, causing intense pain and sometimes fatal reactions. The poison dart frog has skin that secretes venom that can be absorbed through contact, making it one of the most toxic animals in the world. Weapons. Some animals have body parts that can be used to strike, stab, or slash their foes. This is called weapons, and it can be used to fight, intimidate, or display dominance. For example, the elephant has tusks that can gore or lift its opponent, giving it an advantage in size and strength. The rhinoceros has a horn that can pierce or ram its rival, making it a formidable adversary. The lion has claws and teeth that can tear and bite its prey or enemy, making it the king of the beasts. So these are some of the ways that animals defend themselves against threat. As you can see, nature has equipped them with amazing adaptations that help them survive and thrive in the wild. Which one of these strategies do you find the most impressive? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new uploads. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Safari Saga.